All right, Tomo, starting off in the first of the afternoon at Turfentain on Saturday, Hampton Court. Yeah, very nice horse, uh, Bonsky. He's, he's fast. He looks like one of our better two-year-olds. Um, that being said, you know, Green is first time out. He's up against horses who've, first of all, had the run, and second of all, already won. So it's going to be very, very difficult to beat those horses. Um, but I think he's going to be a nice horse. Yeah, I guess the supposition is that he's good enough if you're putting him up against those kind of competition. Actually, we just had nowhere else to go, to be honest. There, there wasn't another, uh, a maiden juvenile thousand. And um, that's the kind of tr that's the trip he wants. At least that's what we think. So it's the only reason he's in the race. Um, therefore, it's going to be difficult. But like I said, nice horse. Yeah, I guess you'll know where you stand afterwards. First leg of the pick six is Miss Bulsara's race. Yeah, she she was unlucky last time. She actually got a little bit intimidated by the horses around her and dropped herself out of the race, a and then she ran on like a scalded cat. So obviously, I mean, I mean, this is the sort of trip she's looking for. Um, she's obviously a decent filly and. Uh, well, she's well, um, must have a good chance. Uh, then we move on to the sixth. There's definitely no shortage of talent with Master and Commander. Yeah, um, super horse. The main target is a Tugela handicap on July day. Um, he, and I think he will need this run, but, you know, he's a nice horse. Fantastic. And then the uh, very talented Alexa has probably been looking for a change in uh, environment. It often brings them alive for whatever reason, but she's short, not short of talent either. Yeah, you know, she's just come well. She she held on to her coat for forever and and just didn't didn't quite look well. Um we were a bit disappointed last time. We know she's better than that. Um but finally she's shining, she's looking great, she's got a lightweight, um everything looks in our favour. Okay, and then to put the lid on the day, uh tipping point in race nine. Yeah, nice horse. Um she she's a bleeder and came up from Cape Town. You know they don't bleed as easy over here. Um and yeah, it's a nice horse but um possibly a touch short and you know they, they tend to need these first runs especially when you're training them with the bleeding in mind you just don't want to let, let it happen at home so so a bit underdone but nice horse one to watch in the future Sean thanks for your time starting off in the second of the afternoon with both Code Writer and Serene Countess Serene Countess should need a bit further and um, hopefully Code Writer Gives us a good run. She debuted on this course and uh, ran a really good race. Found trouble in the next start and hoping that she'll go close. Excellent. First leg of the place. Cumulator sees uh, Purple Diamond as your sole entrant. Yeah, he's uh, a nice horse and I think he's going when he um, gets to the stand side mile, he'll be really um, effective. Having said that, it doesn't look like the strongest race and we're hoping that he can win. Excellent. Then the first leg of the pick six. Um, Lovely name, horse called Surprise Move. Surprise Move, she's taken a bit of time but is strengthening up nicely and I think she's got an each way chance. Okay, then a gap and then uh, Fort Myers is with Witchcraft in the 6th of the afternoon. Yes, both of them having um, their, their um, prep run, um, debut run, whatever you want to call it. And both being nominated for the July, obviously um, Big asks for both of them looking at the log, but I've just chosen to not pressurise them and to let them come on with this run. And um, if they're there about, it'll, um, it, it would be a bonus. Excellent. And then uh, heaps of fun who's come out the classics and, of course, uh, rather out of the Gerald Rosenberg and off the mark together in the seventh? Yeah, um, off the mark's a talented filly. Um, she's lost her form, but... but, but it, um, uh, Last couple of runs were in a period where the, the yard was struggling with a um, few issues. I, I'm expecting improvement. Having said that, um, you know, it will tell us whether we're going to run her a few more times or whether she'll go to start after this. Heaps of fun, I think, from that draw, uh, the mile should suit. And um, obviously, Simply Royal uh, is, a, is a big runner. We're stretching her at the mile, but it is inside course, and um, I think she's got a chance. Okay, well, thanks for bailing me out there. Uh, as we move to Electric Lady in the eighth. Electric Lady should need the run, but she, wa she won't be far off. And then finally, Water Lily Lake in the ninth. Water Lily Lake, also a talented filly with a few issues, and we're hoping that she's going to get her act together soon. I'm expecting a, an improved run.